This is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by former world featherweight champion Lee Selby. Lee, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Good, good. I believe you're um, on the way to Scotland at the moment. Yeah. Just, just tell us why yeah. you're you're doing that. I'm, I'm going up to see some friends and a bit, a bit of training. Ah, so you are still working away behind the scenes. We obviously haven't seen you in the ring for just over a year. What's yeah. the what's the plan for you at the moment, boxing wise? Um. Well, I'm always, always training. I'm always in the gym, even though I don't like post it on social media. Like I'm not like outspoken, calling out fighters and all that rubbish. <laughs> but um, like I said, I'm always in the gym, always training, and I'll have some big fight news soon. So. And without obviously, uh, you're not going to tell us who that's going to be against. I'm guessing, but what weight will it be at? Will it still be at lightweight? Yeah, lightweight. Yeah, yeah. Uh how do you reflect on your last fight? Obviously, we'll talk about um, what Cambosos has gone on to achieve in a, yeah. in a bit. But how do you reflect on that fight? I'm sure you've watched it back. Um, to be honest, I haven't watched it back. But oh. in the, during the fight, um, I thought I was winning easy. It was like I didn't really get caught. But then once that that fight with Lopez was made, I seen like highlights. It was showing like all the five times I did get caught in slow motion. They look worse than what they did. But um, during the fight, I, I just felt comfortable behind the jab. My corner thought I was winning. He he was quite deceiving, as in, like, because previously I watched him box and he threw a nice little, little short uppercut inside. So, like, when, when I was facing off with him, it felt as if if I let my right hand go, I was going to get countered with it. So I didn't let the right hand go, box behind the jab. And I thought I was winning quite comfortable. And, and although I lost the decision, I thought I won. And to be honest, it was... The, Probably one of the easiest fights I'd had in years. Because, like, after those big world title fights, like, the next morning you get out of bed, you, well, it's a struggle to get out of bed. You're, you're all, every muscle's aching. But this one, I, I got out of bed just, just fresh. Didn't feel like I had a fight. Not a mark on my face. And, like, yeah, looking one of the easiest fights I've had. So, with that in mind, do you feel you had more in the tank then? And if you thought that yeah. you, you were behind, you could have done more? Definitely. But, again... Like, do the, the whole thing was a bit strange. It was like, because there was no crowd, it was like during the pandemic, and I, I it, it was just like crazy times. Although that camp, I'm not making this an excuse because it was the same for him, but like, I did struggle to get up for a bit, and I didn't realize what was at stake at the time. When you see Cambosos then go on to beat Teofimo Lopez, and, and I would yeah. say it was a fair um, decision. Yeah. Does that make you feel any better about the defeat? No, really, no. And to, I'm, I don't want to sound like like I'm slating the fighters, but like I, I don't think, I think they're overhyped, all of them. I don't think they're as good as everybody makes out. I think the fans and even like some of the promoters, like they believe the, the crap that they're saying. And I, I, I believe 100% on my, on my, if I could perform to the best of my ability, which I, I don't think I have done yet, I think it would be all of them. What did you make of uh, Cambosos' performance against Lopez? And were you surprised that he pulled it out? I didn't watch the full fight and I, I was surprised. I, I Because when I was in there with Cambosos, there was no like crunch power and he was only like small frames and not like physically strong. I, I thought that um, Lopez would have, would have done it. Yeah, I mean, Lopez came out seemingly angered or frustrated yeah. by what had gone on in fight week and, and yeah. you know, was walking onto shots early on. Yeah. Yeah, that's certain. And credit where credit's due, he, he, he won the fight and well done to him. But I'm, I'm boxing in the final eliminator next for them titles and I'm going to come and I'm going to smoke him. I, I'm not going to just box, play safe behind the jab. I'm going I'm to give it to him. I'm going to roll back the years and I'm going to give it to him. What, which um, which of the belts is it a final eliminator for? I mean, I know you for the IBF for, for the IBF. Uh, okay, and do you because know the, the, the fight. The fight when I boxed Cambosis, it was very controversial. If you watch it in the zone, with, with when you got um like proper commentators, Andy Lee, who's a former world champion, and obviously knows what he's watching. He had me winning quite comfortable, and then you go to the Sky commentators who like who weren't great boxers, and they got me losing. Uh, you must but have watched it, it back then fight. if you've seen the uh, the zone commentary. No, I'm just going off what people tell me. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I don't want. I, I I rarely watch my fights, and when I do, I tend to watch the ones that I win. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't blame you. But um, and there's not yeah, many so that the ones, you don't win, is there? So, well, but well, if you look back, I've only lost two fights, but these days they say if you lose, oh, you're finished and all that crap. 
But years ago, you lose a lose a fight, you're back in the big fight. It, it don't make a difference. But if you look back, I've lost, I lost my featherweight world title in my fifth defense against my third mandatory challenger on a split decision. Mm. Struggling at the weight, I moved up, beat a former freeweight world champion and another quality fighter I didn't get no credit for in you know, Omar Douglas, who was a real tough customer. And then um, I goes and loses in a final limit for the, the lightweight world title. Split decision, controversial. So, like, I'm not done yet. There's more to come. Why do you think you don't get the, the credit you deserve? I mean, you gave uh, Cambosos a more competitive fight than Lopez, arguably. Yeah. You gave Josh Warrington a more competitive fight than a lot of his future opponents, including Cole Frampton yeah. as well. Why do you think you don't get the your just... Tune. Probably because I'm not as outspoken as the most as, as the rest. I, mean, I, I I don't try and stay relevant by talking crap on social media and all that. Maybe. Do you ever do you ever consider doing that to boost your profile no. to get a bit more credit? No. I, I wouldn't lower myself. I'd rather just be a normal person, be humble, and do the talking in the ring and just just be a boxer. Like they 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 think because they're boxing and on TV, they they go to Hollywood, don't they? They think they're really superstars when they're not really. They're just normal people who can fight. Why have we not seen you back in the ring by now? I mean, uh, you've said you've got a final eliminator lined up, which is great, but why yeah. haven't we seen you for the last year? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, ready to, <laughs> I'm always ready to fight. All, all i got to do is lose a few pounds. I'm always ready to fight. I'm always in the gym. So it's just waiting for those opportunities to come up. Yes. And now I'm going to be boxing. The, well, the IBF should order the eliminators. They, they're usually sharp, so probably next week or the, the following week. And um, win that, and I'm back fighting for the title. Great stuff. And, and I, I, won't, I won't let it slip this time. I, I won't play it safe. I'm just going like, to give us one. And is the training set up all still the same with Tony and the guys at yes. Joe's? Yeah, all the same. All the same. What's the atmosphere like in the gym at the moment? Because you must have like a fresh crop of talent coming through now. Um, yeah, there's all, all the youngsters are coming through. So... In, in the, the last 24 hours, we've had 10 wins from the gym. All wow. pros, which is good. All the youngsters coming up. And it shows that I've still got a lot to give because none of the youngsters can still keep up with me in the gym. I'm still <laughs> like, I'm still the fittest in the gym. And, and, you, I, I, remain, and I, I plan on staying there for a while. Were you at either of those shows over the weekend, the two shows in Wales? I went to the one, yes. And but, the one was televised, so I watched the one. Uh, okay, what the uh, so and, and because I was going away, and I'm going away today, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to um, push push the boat out with with my um, partner. Did you do you speak Welsh? Put it there. I know, I know a few <laughs> words. No, but put it there. Good morning. Pronoun there. Poyoiti. Just a couple of a couple of um, one liners that I remember from school. Because I watched it last it, night on um, S4C, and obviously I, I don't... Press speak. the red button? No, well, I don't know. No. Apparently, you can only do it on the iPlayer is the only way to get the English... Um, right, college. it worked on mine. It worked on mine. Uh, well, you'll need, to, you'll need to give me the tips <laughs> offline. But it's a good fight. Red Gavin Quinn. Yeah, it was a good fight, yeah. And I'd spied with the, the boy who was boxing. I spied with him before. Jack and did you see Joshua John box? Yeah. And my brother spied with the opponent. He, he boxed as well. So we knew the guys and we, we give them a little bit of info inside the info. I, I was saying it must be encouraging for you that promoters are now going back to Wales and putting on major shows there again. It, it must be encouraging for you for the future. Yeah, it's, it's, it is encouraging. It's, it's, quite, um, it's quite sad why the, the promoters don't really get behind the Welsh fighters. Like mo most of my fights, I think I've only boxed in Wales um, since like being championship level, only, only twice, I think. At the Motorpoint Arena, where it's, we seem to be neglected a bit of Welsh fighters. We always yeah. got to go on the road early on to get a big fight. We had those two over the weekend, and now you've got uh, Chris Eubank, Liam Williams, obviously been postponed, but it's going to be in yeah. Cardiff uh, the 29th yeah. of January now. Yeah. That's a pretty it'll big be, show. It'll be good to have um, Sky Sports back in Wales. And maybe see you ringside? Maybe see me ringside or in the ring, even. Oh, OK. Never OK. Know. I don't know. What what is your situation promotionally? Are you are you a free agent? I'm, I'm I'm a free agent. Yeah, I'm just with the Sandy guys as as um, managers, so I I can box on any network. So we once the IBF order these eliminators, that I said they're usually sharp. So maybe next week or the following week, 
then, then we can see which promoters want to want to bid for the fight. Oh, great stuff. Well, I'm sure um, the head of Boxer and Matchroom and all the major promoters will be watching this. So yeah. get in, get in now, guys, because uh, he, he still look, he's like Benjamin Button. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the time. first. I'm going to be the first Welshman to be a two weight world champion. All I got to do is beat Gustavo Lemos, and if Cambosis is, I hope Cambosis is still champion, because then I'll, I'll get my revenge and get the titles. Great stuff, mate. I'm going to let you track on because it's a long journey up to Scotland. Um, yeah. but have a good time up there and we'll catch up again once the uh, eliminator gets